Can I get some water? I really need a glass of water. This is not a stunt. Heavy metal toxicity that is found in the water. You have arsenic, you have fluoride, all things designed to make people more docile. It, when you begin to study history, you begin to realize that they control water, they control the food supply, and they use it as mechanisms to poison people. It's a pretty grim picture, frankly, when one looks at What's contained in most tap water? What do we do? From filtering water to optimized drinking water for health, this is the ultimate guide to water. Most people understand that drinking spring water is better than drinking purified or tap water, but the problem is we end up microdosing plastic, ending up disrupting our hormones and increasing cancer risks. Switching to glass bottles like Aquapana solves this problem, but let's be real, nobody wants to pay $2 for a half a liter of water. So many health experts promote a four-stage reverse osmosis water filtration system, but the friction of installing one under the sink didn't get me to take the action until I discovered there's a countertop version. While filtering the water using a reverse osmosis filtration system is crucial, adding essential minerals back to the water is more important. Because without the minerals, the water can leach essential minerals from your body, potentially leading to mineral deficiencies over a long period of time. So what I love about this reverse osmosis filtration system is it alerts you when to change your filters. You know, I was always told Iowa had clean water, but when I put in my zip code, it said the place I live had about a thousand times more arsenic levels than the allowable health guideline. Now that we solve drinking drinking water, there's another problem we have. Water also absorbs through the skin, and when you shower, your skin absorbs harmful contaminants like chlorine and other chemicals from tap water. This not only causes skin irritation, but it damages your lung. So in order to prevent that from happening, install a shower filter. A good shower filter removes chlorine and other harmful chemicals, protecting your skin and lung, but actually cleansing you versus contaminating your body. So now that we know how to obtain clean water, how much water Water should we actually drink? Because while dehydration causes your brain to malfunction, overhydration is just as dangerous because it swells the cells and stresses our kidney. To stay properly hydrated, aim to drink about 2.5 liters of water a day. Now, this is assuming you're inactive for the day, but how much exactly should you drink if you exercise? A good rule of thumb is to drink about 5 to 7 ounces every 15 to 20 minutes during physical activity. But if you want to optimize to the T, Dr. Andy Galvin came up with the following formula where you divide your body weight in pounds by 30 to determine how many ounces of water you should drink every 15 to 20 minutes during activity. For example, I weigh about 150 pounds, so that means I should be drinking 5 ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes to fully optimize. Now, if you're doing a sauna session just like exercise, make sure to increase your water intake by 500 milliliters to 1.2 liters depending on the intensity level. So to simplify everything, I drink about 3 to 3.5 liters of water a day at 150 pounds. However, while getting properly hydrated is great, drinking too much water late at night leads to frequent urination, disturbing our sleep. But at the same time, if we're dehydrated at night, it lowers our heart rate variability, which is crucial for recovery. So what do we do? To maintain optimal hydration without disrupting our sleep, drink 90% of your water intake in the first 10 hours of your day. Why? Our bodies follow the circadian clock, and during the first 10 hours of waking, your kidney works more efficiently to filter fluids than hours afterwards. So what I personally do is I save about 10% of my water intake for late in the day, but to maximize absorption and prevent urination at night, I drink that last 10% of my water very slowly with very small gulps. This helped me maintain my hydration levels while not waking up to use the bathroom at night. Now, one might wonder, does water temperature impact our hydration? Unfortunately, yes. While drinking cold water might seem refreshing, study says it slows down our absorption in our gut, making it less effective at hydrating our body. Technically, warm water is absorbed more quickly and efficiently, but also aids digestion and promotes circulation. What I personally do is I drink ice cold water in the morning because I enjoy cold water. However, throughout the day, especially later during the day, I drink room temperature water. So ultimately, about 3 liters a day of a 4-stage reverse osmosis water filtration made from glass would be my go-to at room temperature. However, there are more types of water that science hasn't quite depicted but still worth a look at like hard water, hydrogen water, and structured water. So let's briefly touch base on what we know and see if it's worth going for or not because data have shown some 
these waters do have their benefits. So let's start with the most controversial topic, hydrogen water. On one side, health influencers are promoting it. The studies on hydrogen water and neural inflammatory disease and chronic inflammation are astounding. But then majority of the chemistry community states it's a total scam. Do not give them your money. So what is the truth? Some studies suggest hydrogen gas inhalation has seen use in actual hospitals with evidence suggesting benefits in preventing oxidative damage and managing cancer. However, the skepticism lies in the technology of the water bottle because the amount of dissolved hydrogen gas in the water will be minimal, if any. While the benefits of hydrogen water could be there, I don't believe that the water bottle has the technology to get us sufficient benefits. And focusing on the bigger stuff like using clean water and hydrating proper amounts will give us better rate of returns. However, if you believe in the studies, there are hydrogen tablets you can use, which would be preferred than the hydrogen water bottles. So while hydrogen water might be a sham, there's been studies on hard water where they actually increase the pH by increasing magnesium and calcium concentration to the water and making it more alkaline. Alkaline water has smaller molecule clusters compared to regular water, making it easier to absorb in our bodies, leading to better hydration. But the reason why this method isn't widely used in the household is that the high mineral leads to the limestone buildup in the plumbing of the house, but also the minerals leave a residue that makes it difficult to rinse off soap and shampoo, leading to dry skin and dull hair. While applying the whole water system to hard water may be extreme, I do believe in drinking alkaline water for better absorption. So if you're using a reverse osmosis filtration system, don't just filter the water, but make sure you add in the minerals as well. Now going to the next water, it is the opposite of tap or purified water which is distilled water. It's often marketed as the purest form of water, but is it really the best option for health? While distilled water doesn't have any impurities, it actually lacks the essential minerals that your body needs to function properly. And the purpose of water is that it naturally contains minerals that help your organs function in your body efficiently. And without the minerals, distilled water can leach essential minerals from your body, potentially leading to mineral deficiencies over a long period of time. You're not drinking water for nutrition, but rather for hydration and hydration allows our organs to do their job like filter our bloods from toxin. But if we're mixing in toxins with the substance that's supposed to help us filter toxins, you're not just failing to hydrate yourself, but you're actually poisoning your body. So ensure that every drop of water you drink and use is safe. YouTube thinks you might like this video, so give it a try. I'll see you next week.